Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Illusions Basketball. Six box, half case, random team break number two. One spot gets you two teams, and at the end of the video, there'll be two Super Bowl squares being given away here. All card chip, lots of nice stuff. Big thanks to this group. Let's double you up. And for the purposes of the, uh, the promo, let me go to a different dice here. We're going to use the original 16 names, or 15 names that I usually do. All 30 basketball teams are in. Let's go. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams two and a one, three times. One, two, three. We got Steve down to Tim. And two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. All right. Steve with the New York Knicks, Kevin with the Cavs, Joel with the Sixers, Carlos with the Celtics, Matt with the Raptors and Bucks, Joseph with the Spurs, Edward, Pelicans and Bulls, Joseph with the Timberwolves and the Jazz, Brian Frank with the Pacers, Edward with the Heat, Kevin with the Nuggets, Tim with the Pistons, Kevin with the uh, Blazers and the Warriors, Matt with the Wizards, Steve with the Kings, Brian with the Grizz, uh, Kevin, Charlotte Hornets. Matt with the Rockets, Carlos with the Magic, Edward with my Lakers, Joel with the Suns, Brian Frank with the Hawks, Brian Croft with the Nets, Joseph with the Clippers, Kevin with the Mavs, and Tim with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Let's sort alphabetically by team. And we're going to pause the video just for a moment. Um, when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we will have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done here in the Solutions Break, so let's bust it open. Let's see what we got. Here's the final printout, hot off the presses. Appreciate, appreciate you making this happen. Remember, we marked these two so we know that they're all from the same case. card chip just as a reminder most of our breaks all card chip but, you know, we we'll always have that in the in the item description We got a Nico Mannion, five out of five, rookie vision card. They're on the bottom. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. And that will be for Kevin, one of his last spot mojo teams. Kevin, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Halliburton rookie card. Where does Ben Simmons end up? Does he get traded in this trade window? We'll do a left-right randomizer on that. Chuma Okiki to 99.
Or CJ McCollum. Autograph. Superlatives auto for the Trailblazers. That'll be for Kevin. Good start. Danny Green to 99. Jordan and Wara. Got a Brandon Clark to 25. Grizzlies playing uh, some great basketball. Brian Croft, that one. I think the entire team's been playing pretty solid hoop. John Moran, of course. And I feel like Xavier Tillman's putting a minute. Desmond Bain looking good, too. All right, box one in the books. Next box. We're looking for one autograph per box on average. Yeah, Tyler, let's fill that zenith. I think we're just down to that last filler. Next box, let's go. It's Kawhi Leonard to 99 for the Clippers. We'll have our shipping team, sorting team, so we'll have those sleeved and top loaded before they all go out, of course. When's Zion coming back? We need him to come back too. That'd be good for the hobby. We got a Jalen Brown to 10, seven out of 10. Nice low number here. Celtics, that's for Carlos in Boston. Yeah, Grass, we have uh, pinned in the chat is our break schedule. When things sell out, we'll add it to that schedule. There's our first Anthony Edwards rookie card for Joseph Barton and the Minnesota Timberwolves. There's Denny Avija to 99. Cole Anthony playing some good basketball for Orlando. That's for Carlos. And a redemption. And a Lamello. Paul Millsap to 99. The rookie vision Tyrese Halliburton for the King. That's going to go to Steve H. The Lamello going to Charlotte. Kevin Shepard Jr. Maybe we'll find a parallel of, of this car. That would be nice. All right. We've got superlative signatures gold. J. 
A space M O Morant. Wow, nice. Ja Morant. It's a nice hit for the Memphis Grizzlies. Brian uh, Brian Croft with the Grizz. Um, no, I uploaded that app. Did I not upload that? Maybe I didn't upload it. No, that's uploaded. If you look at our video list, that 2016 Absolute, um, that 2016 Absolute video is already uploaded. And that was one of the, that was one of the first breaks we did today. Good luck. All right, third box for us in Illusions. Then we'll do that Prestige Hanger box. Then we'll uh, we'll go through some uh, go through some more orders after that. And we'll see what we can add to the schedule. Has there been another player named Ja? I'm sure. Yeah. It has to be, right? I mean, you could go to baseballreference.com, basketballreference.com, profootballreference.com and look up Jaw in those databases and see if there's ever anyone who who got there who has Jaw as their first name. Kawhi Leonard to 99. Anthony Towns, 99. Cole Anthony. Steph, and then there's his brother Seth Curry. Another LaMelo ball for Kevin and Charlotte. The flow, what's going on? Am I watching the Pro Bowl Skills Challenge? Is that, is that on TV right now? Or is that this weekend maybe? There's superlatives, Brian Scalabrine for Boston. That'll go to Carlos. I'll be honest with you, I probably won't be watching the skills challenge. Not live anyway. Jay Sean Tate to 99 for Houston. And rookie vision and a two out of five, Colin Sexton and a rookie vision, Anthony Edwards. I 
Out of five under, get the train whistle, Kevin. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And Joseph will get the uh, Anthony Edwards rookie vision card. This looks pretty sharp. That's a good looking card here. Oh, it's on now? Is this what I'm watching? It's on. Is it on NFL Network? I suppose if it's on in the background right now, I guess I'll watch. You know, I forget who was asking this yesterday, but I apologize to, the, to that person. I don't remember that person who asked it. Tom Brady, is Tom Brady going to show up on... Uh, is Tom Brady going to go to the Pro Bowl? Joel, a filler break uh, is a break that helps fill another break. So essentially a filler break will be giving away spots in a more expensive break. So for example, we could, we could use an illusions pack as a filler break. So we take the cost of the pack and let's say we're giving away 10 spots and something will bake, will bake in the cost of the 10 spots plus the pack, divide that by 30. And then at the end of the break, we randomize everybody's names and the top 10 or whatever we say in the product description, but the top X amount of people will get into the more expensive break. Fill a break helps fill up other breaks. Yeah, Vegas is pretty lucky. They're getting the Pro Bowl, NHL All Star game. You know, I think it's, it's easy to convince people to go there. So Tom Brady's not going to play in the, in the in the Pro Bowl. Has he ever played in a Pro Bowl? There's a jersey and auto first impressions jersey and auto Peyton Pritchard. Celtics Carlos, but like when a break website have a filler listed for a dollar. You must be confusing us with another site. There, I don't think there's any filler on the on our site. It's there for a dollar. Jordan Clarkson to ninety nine. Another Anthony Edwards rookie card. Well, I have no idea what other sites are doing, Joel. Ask them. I can't speak for any of the other sites. But I feel like it'll be pretty similar. Pretty similar process though. There's Robert Covington to 99. I mean, it's basically the same same formula. Pay money, they do some sort of randomizer, and then hopefully you get things. box <laughs> that's right Rex yeah what other sites there are other people doing stuff like this 
first time first, first time I've heard of it. Alright, next box. Okay, so different Joel is saying that some sites have you buy filler bucks in increments of a dollar that can be used to buy into live breaks. Filler bucks, interesting. What's the advantage of buying filler bucks instead of just using real bucks? Real dollars. Fourteen nine ninety nine Moses Brown. You know, I've thought of Mike Tower, I've thought of using one dice roll for everything. <laughs> but I don't know, I feel like I feel like I feel like people think that's somehow rigged or something like that. One breaker uses one role for names and a different role for teams. That that's a, that's an excellent opportunity for someone like Joe to screw up the randomizer. I would I would definitely mess that up. All right, so that's Lou Williams to ninety nine, and this is uh, oh they're on the same team. Good, no randomizer here. Three out of ten. Colin Sexton on the left side, and his teammate Darius Garland on the other side. Cleveland, this is for you. Kevin with Cleveland. There's Kevin Porter Jr. And, wow, a wild cat has appeared. Carl Anthony Towns. Retro signatures. Carl Anthony Towns. That is for Joseph Barton and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Nice. That is, it's a nice auto. And there's Chris Busher, four out of 25 for Toronto. Matt. Randoms everything seven times. I feel like that opens the door to for people to be like, hey, why is it always seven? Is it because you, I don't know, it's, I mean, I don't know how you rig random.org, but there, some, someone might argue, oh, it's always seven because you somehow rigged it so it'll always be, you'll know where the spots are going to be every time. One breaker lets you choose your spot in the random list. It's not as them as you buy it. I think we do that sometimes with on Instagram. I think when we do hit drafts, we'll have like we'll have like a list and it'll be like one through ten, and then you could buy a spot and then we write your name in. In whatever spot you want to buy into, and then we randomize that list. Breaker alphabetized the list of participants be, be, before the, doing the random. 
don't know. I, I feel like we're just. I don't. I don't know. I guess is is there a concern about how the list is sorted out beforehand? I mean, it's random. I think we just. I think we just throw in just throw in the names on the list and we just randomize it. Keep it easy. Denny Avija, 5 out of 10. For Washington, that's for Matt. Ben Simmons to 99. Cole Anthony. It's just... At only just a hundred dollars, that seems like a low bar to to do that kind of work. The the concern with us about doing stuff like that, Mike, would be oh here's a Kevin Durant nine out of ten illuminated insert. Is that not everyone's watching live at the same time? So does that mean do the, does that mean we have to hold on to the cards until until both parties figure out what they want to do with it? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. That you know, and with the amount of amount of sort of stuff that we have, a lot of moving parts here at our shop. I feel like that'd be a great opportunity for us to like to misplay to lose that card, or you know, and then we have to have someone keep track of who wants to do what with various cards. We have to have it held in different, and we don't have space to hold all those cards. On the surface, it may not sound like, oh, that sounds like it would be easy to do, but, but I think in, real, in practice, it would, it would be, be a little extra work. Isaac with Cora, 99. But anyway, yeah, it, it is funny to see like how different, I mean, it's different businesses, you know, there are coffee shops do things, do things differently. Ooh, nice Grant Hill. You know, every, every burger joints does, you know, they're still selling a burger, but they'll do things slightly differently. You know, just. Find the spot that you're most comfortable in, and you know, find a couple, couple guys or gals you like to break with. Keep it. I think simplicity is really the the the, the thing that people should just look out for when they're looking for like group breaker. Try to make, make sure they're not overcomplicating, or maybe even unnecessarily overcomplicating it. We try to keep things as simple as we can and as clear as we can. There is a frequently asked questions section on the site, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to. Consult that. There's that John Morant. So you see what the house rules are. Definitely do do that. Do your due diligence on other other sites as well. Make sure that's their house rules are clearly printed up. All right, left right randomizer, and then we'll also do a randomizer for the Super Bowl squares. So let's flip back to the list. Let's gather everybody's names. We'll do that. Oh yeah, we're we're randomizing the original six, the original fifteen names. That's what I said before. So now let's just do left right then. See, that's why I have that set up so I don't forget. Let's roll it, randomize it, three and a five, eight times. So uh, the side on top is where those cards will go, and then the other list it'll be the top two after eight. Good luck. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, right side will get them. So for these two player cards, it'll be the Ray Allen Celtic side will get them. Three and a five, eight times. Top two Super Bowl squares. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck and congrats to Tim and Joel. Congrats to you. You are in the Super Bowl Squares promo. I'm pretty sure you two know how the squares work. If not, let me know. But basically, chance to win a lot of break credit if the scores go your way uh, during the big game. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.